Hello Royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you for all your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. Queen Elizabeth II's staff lines the street outside Buckingham Palace to say farewell to the monarch after her funeral. And it wasn't just the humans of the royal household who were seen during Monday's ceremonies. The Queen's corgis and one of her ponies were led out to witness the procession at Windsor. The Queen's dogs, Muick and Sandy, which are Pembroke Welsh corgis, waited in a quadrangle at Windsor Castle as the funeral cortege arrived, while being looked after by two members of staff. At the time of her death, the Queen also had two other dogs, a doggy called Candy and Lizzie the Cocker Spaniel. It has been confirmed that Prince Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson will look after the corgis. Andrew was later seen in the company of the dogs. Yes, the faithful corgis, one on a red lead and one on a blue lead, were accompanied by two pages in red tailcoats. The Queen's fell pony, Emma, also greeted the procession on the grass along the long walk where there were a sea of floral tributes. The moving moments were a nod to the late monarch's lifelong love of dogs and horses. They also echoed when Prince Philip's carriage ponies played a part at his funeral last year as they stood in the quadrangle of Windsor Castle as his coffin was carried past on a Land Rover in a procession. Muick, named after Loch Muick on the Balmoral estate, and Sandy were gifts to the Queen from her son Prince Andrew last year, and the young dogs are said to have brought her constant joy. Speculation was high over what would happen to Her Majesty's corgis following her death, but it has since been confirmed that they will be cared for by the Duke and Duchess of York. Andrew and Sarah continue to live together at Royal Lodge in Windsor despite their divorce in 1996. A source said the Corgis will return to live at Royal Lodge with the Duke and Duchess. The Queen will be reunited with her late husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, in the King George VI Memorial Chapel during a private burial service attended by members of the Royal Family this evening. More than 2,000 guests, including Prime Ministers, Presidents and Royalty from across the world, attended the state funeral at Westminster Abbey on Monday morning before a committal service was held at St George's Chapel in the afternoon. So what do you think about this news, guys? It's a rare moment you won't see such heart-moving loyalty in real life. Write down yes in the comments below if you think the same. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. So, until the next time, hasta la vista!